going to be an unpleasant day, folks. A crappy day, you might say. We're going to be hauling manure with a brand new Artsway vertical spreader. But not only that, we just moved those Hereford heifers because they're sold. They're getting out of here today. Next thing we're going to do, Dad's getting feeding done. We're going to take these down because they're in the way because we're going to scrape this pen so we can haul out the manure. And also it's getting cold. My ears are a little frosty right now, so we're going to take these down get them out of here. We don't need them anymore. It's getting to the cold part of the season. Other reason why we're doing this first thing is because today and tomorrow it's going to start getting really windy. So we don't want to be carrying these while that heavy wind is blowing them around. Super windy. Unpleasantly windy. to scrape and we got more calves to wean and so we're gonna clean this pen up before that next group comes in uh, there's not too much to pick up and then there's gonna be some really dry and fluffy stuff in that lot right there there's been cattle in it every day for the last six seven months In about an hour, some folks from Artway are gonna be pulling in. They're gonna help us set that up. Woo! Got poop in the eye hole. Getting a pretty decent pile over here. All kinds of poo to spread. Oh, oh, oh. Have it so you can take the back door off and the right. guys usually hurt. 
actually use them for silage if it's a real wet conditions or something? Mm -hmm. Is that a yeah. similar thing? Yeah, absolutely. So you see the hooks on top of there. Yeah. You can uh, uh, chain up to that. There are four bolts along the outside here and then just connect the PTO to there and it'll lift right off. So with our other manure spreader, we always had it where at the end we'd lower the gate back down so it's not chucking stuff back at us. Now I see you have a kind of a shield there, but does the vertical beater throw it back at the end too? It will. The gate doesn't go all the way up past the beater, so it will prevent some of that from throwing back. Um, but I would also recommend to have the gate lower at the end. Okay. One thing I've always worried about with motor spreaders is if you forget to shut the floor chain off, and the door's all the way down, even if it's empty, does that do any damage or that rubber flap, it's not a big deal. And I don't like doing it. Right. But, yep, know, that's exactly what it's there for. It does give a little bit of a chain rise in between the yeah. rubber, so it doesn't hit anything that's So I think we're ready to load this up. We got an X700 Artsway manure spreader, of course, with the vertical beaters. We've never ran anything with vertical beaters before, so we're pretty excited about that. And of course, more capacity, it's a bigger spreader. So uh, let's get in the field and check it out. Well, that was, it's a weird spreader. It for some reason spreads about 200 feet to the right, but not really to the left at all. I don't know. Or maybe that's the wind. Well, as you can see, it is nuts out there. Gale force winds, it would be irresponsible for us to keep hauling manure. And so we're gonna quit for the day and maybe even the week because we got two more days of this junk. Herefords go bye bye. Bye Herefords. Herefords go bye bye.
The next morning it's still pretty windy but the wind is down a little bit see if we can get a couple more loads in before it picks up Do you think it's full? Ooh, that's a big pile. We really want to get these two pens spread so we can wean those next calves, get them home in some clean pens. And then not only that, with this crazy wind, we don't want to bring calves home and wean them and have all that dust blowing on them. Sucking it up, breathing that. So last video, we finished corn harvest. And that machine is all cleaned up 100%. Got some rat bait in there just in case something gets in there and tries to cut up some wires like they do every year. I hate it, but it's clean, ready to go to storage. The spread width is 30 feet. It spreads 30 feet wide, which is pretty much double what our other one does. And that's because of the vertical beaters on the back, up and down, and they spin as opposed to the horizontal ones that are side to side that also spin. So we pull in here, we start them beaters. With our old setup, I could see the beater spinning, but the way this is set up and how much it holds, can't really see them back there. Get that revved up, get that slop gate open, lifting up. Goes up there a ways. All right, and then we just engage this other hydraulic and it starts pushing that floor. It's chucking it. Yesterday where we spread was right there and you, I just think it's blowing away. It's just, uh, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money. With that heavy of wind, we're giving the neighbors the nutrients. It's a bummer, I wanted to see how well it work and of course get some work done. As you can see, that stuff blowing. It's just not right to keep doing it. So we'll stop. Hopefully get a rain, you know, even if it was just, it could still be pretty windy, but if this had some moisture to it and it wouldn't blow a whole 10 miles, but we can't finish scraping up that main feed lot after those wind breaks were moved. So we can get a little bit of stuff done, just not much spreading today. Our hydraulics are cold, so things are running kind of slow this morning. We didn't do it justice in this video, but you know, there'll be, there'll be days where it'll go great. We got a lot of manure to spread. Pretty big pile in there and I'm gonna make it bigger in just a little bit. Noticed him yesterday. And then this morning he was standing back by that fence by himself, head hanging low. Surprised he actually came up to eat this morning, but we gave him some good antibiotics. He'll be feeling better in the morning. A Little bit of scraping left in this pen. We'll get that done and Call it a day.
couple loads in there that's not too bad i was thinking it'd be a little bit more but i'm sure half of it's blown away over the last few months because it's been so windy and dry anyways folks we got some good videos coming hope you stick around hit that subscribe button if you're new here we'd love to see you next time have a good one i think i saw something moving around back here what the heck two herefords you guys didn't get on the bus i guess we're gonna have to keep them and cab them out ourselves